welcome back students let's discuss, let's discuss another important topic that is mitosis and also it is called as the cell cycle now mitosis is a type of cell division in which the cell divides to form two daughter cells retaining the same chromosome number complement it ensures the equal distribution of genetic material and it is a process in which the division of nucleus and cytoplasm on, occurs only once as you can see here one cell gets divided into two daughter cells now the somatic cell division is observed in the mitosis here somatic cells are produced somatic cells means the body cells that means leaving the germ cells or you can say the sex cells these somatic cells have 46 chromosome that means 43 pair of chromosomes they are homologous in nature that means each pair has a each member has a chromosome pair homologous form is present next it is diploid in nature that means total 46 chromosome in the uh, cell is present which forms zygote and the somatic cells next comes the haploid cells haploid cells have total 23 chromosomes which have the gametes sperms and eggs so haploid cells are basically the uh, gametes or you can say the germ cells while diploid cells are the cells which have zygote zygotic cells as well as the somatic cells so let's start with the cell cycle the sequence and the sequence of growth and division of a cell includes the cell cycle and 95% of the cell cycle occurs in the interphase of a cell and 5% of the cell cycle is observed in the mitosis division okay now basically a series of changes or sequential events which occur in the life of dividing cell is called as cell division now let's see the first phase of mitosis now first phase includes the g1 phase which is also called as the first growth phase and so called as post mitotic gap phase so here the metabolic activity of the cell starts next is the s stage that is also called as the synthesis stage or synth uh, synthetic phase here basically the replication of dna takes place during the stage and entire genetic material or dna duplicates next comes the g2 phase which is again the growth stage it is a second growth phase and also called as pre mitotic gap or growth phase this includes the synthesis of tubulin the spindle protein and the rna as well as the metabolic activity of cell takes place and the cell prepares for the division next comes the basic mitotic cell in that is uh, mitosis happens in all cells and cell division process is taking place basically in mitosis and there are major five steps so before mitosis mitosis starts in cell cycle interphase is mainly observed in this interphase g1 s and g2 phase is observed where what happens growth phase first growth phase is observed first growth or you can say the post mitotic gap phase is there it involves the synthesis of proteins enzymes and energy molecules required for the dna replication next comes the s phase s phase that means phase of synthesis where replication of dna takes place during this stage and entire dna material duplicates next comes the g2 phase which is the second growth phase and it, it is called as a pre mitotic gap or the growth phase so students in this session we have seen about the interphase or you can say the starting of mitosis in further session we will have more discussion on the further stages of mitosis thank